In this video, we're going to take a look at complex numbers and how they can be used to find the square root of i. So the question that we're posing is, what is the square root of i? So to start us off, we're going to set the square root of i equal to a plus bi, which is the standard form of a complex number. We're then going to use algebra to try and get to a solution. So the first thing we're going to do is square both sides. And if we simplify this, we have i equals brackets a plus bi times brackets a plus bi. If we multiply those terms out, we get a squared plus 2abi plus b squared i squared. Now i squared goes to minus 1. So overall, we end up with a squared plus 2abi minus b squared. So simplifying this and sort of just putting it all together, this is what we've got. Now I'm going to just put in the fact that we've got zero for the real part of the number here. So if we're just dealing with i, uh, the complex number form of this is zero plus i because the real part is zero. And that equals a squared minus b squared plus two abi. Now, if we compare the real part uh, on both sides, we've got 0 equals a squared minus b squared. So we can put that together. If we rearrange by adding b squared to both sides, we've got b squared equals a squared. Square root both sides, we see that a uh, equals b or b equals a. Now, if we compare the imaginary parts, we have i equals 2abi. If we divide both sides by i, we've just got 1 equals 2ab. And if we substitute in for the fact that b equals a, we end up with 1 equals 2a squared. Rearranging this gives us a equals plus or minus 1 over square roots of 2. And we also know that b equals a. So we can now use uh, the original definition that we had for the square root of i as being equals to a plus bi, and then also the solutions for a and b. So solution one, when a equals positive one over square root of two, we end up with the square root of i equaling one over root two plus i over root two. Second solution is where a is negative one over root two, and that means that b will also be negative one over root two, and that gives us square root of i equals minus one over root two minus i over root two. So uh, the magnitude of i can be gotten by using uh, the Pythagoras theorem. Um, so we just consider the two sides of the right angle triangle that this produces on a graphical plane. Um, so we square the magnitude of both and then square root. So if we square those terms, we get a half plus a half, which is the square root of one, which just equals one. So the magnitude of root i is one. That also works for the version that's negative 1 over root 2 minus uh, i over root 2. So again, if we go through the same process, we get the magnitude equaling 1. OK, now if you think about a graphical representation of the square root of i, uh, we can see this red arrow uh, representing the square root of i as a vector on this uh, complex plane where we've got the real number line and the imaginary number line. And we can think of this as being rotated by 45 degrees from the real number line. And if we square this, so if we do root i times root i, we rotate another 45 degrees and we get to just one i. So it's a graphical way of thinking about this square root of i. Um, another idea here is that we have the root of i equals minus 1 over root 2 minus i over root 2. This is a rotation of 225 degrees. And so that gives us that rotation. But if we multiply root i by root i, we go around another 225 degrees and we get back to 1i. So again, it's a way of just thinking about the, the, a graphical approach to understanding the square root of i. Okay, so that's been a video um, about complex numbers and how we can use them to get the square root of i. 
I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching.